The statistics are against him. Richmond has won just 32 matches from the 92 played under Terry Wallace. Now, the pressure is on to sack him. Are you feeling this morning, Terry? I'm feeling fine. Ready for a day at work. The coach seems keen to stay, but club officials are waiting to see improvements. I think the important thing is, as a footy club, we need to start winning some football games. In rugby league, Penrith Panthers hooker Masada Yusufa has been charged by police after a fight on Saturday night. He's been stood down for one week and will face court next month. The fight occurred between security guards and a group of men celebrating Panthers player Michael Jennings' 21st birthday. Collingwood has decided not to protest after they claimed umpire Scott McLaren pushed midfielder Shane O'Bree in Friday night's game at the Gabba. It's one of several incidents of player contact with umpires this year as the AFL tries to show more appreciation to umpires. Australia's Mark Webber has finished second to teammate Sebastian Vettel in the Chinese Grand Prix. The race ran in torrential rain from start to finish, but Webber kept his cool even through the difficult conditions to pick up a 1-2 for the Red Bull team. In soccer, Everton forced itself into the Champions League final after beating Manchester United. Australian Tim Cahill's penalty miss was buried by Phil Gelker's penalty goal to win the game and take them to the final against Chelsea in May. Lucinda Ross, QT News.